Hola YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am your girl Beauty Bell Lenoria across all my social media platforms. If you would go ahead and thumbs up this video, go ahead and share it amongst your family, friends, and co-workers. And of course, go ahead and get a conversation started with me in the comment section below. But as you already guessed it, this is gonna be a hair care haul. So any and everything related to what I do with my text lax hair because being perm just didn't work out for me and being natural, ooh, child, I just could not. So I'm smack dead in the middle. I'm text lax. But if you're ready to see what we got to take care of out here, let's keep watching. You're my bitter one taking me home. So the first part of our haul is coming in from She Is Bomb Collection, and they did go ahead and release two new items. One item came out a couple of months ago, and this last item just came out here in the past few weeks. When I'm busy doing my hair like the style that you see right now, um, any type of braid out, twist outs, braids, anything like that, um, typically you're putting some type of holding gel on it to make it hold until you unravel it and you fluff it out. or to make your actual braids, cornrows look neater when you go get your hair done. Typically you're adding a mousse or something to it. Well, they came out with this product and it is called the, it's, it, <laughs> it is called the Fuse Foam. And the Fuse Foam, it's just supposed to be something that when you wash your hair and it's slightly damp and you go to section it off the braided, twisted, band two knots, flat twist, whatever you're doing, you know how you'll go spray your leave-in conditioner and then you'll go ahead and put on your leave-in cream. And then after that, you want to go ahead and put in an oil to seal everything down and then your styler, whether it's a gel or a foam or a mousse or whatever it is. So it actually kind of holds and don't just fluff up and you run around here looking like a chia pet all over again. This foam, you're supposed to be able to use it on your weaves, on your leave outs, braid out, twist out, band two knots, actual cornrows. This is a one-stop shop. So when you go get your curly weave and different things like that, and it's looking a little dry, just spray it with a little bit of water, pump a little bit of this in your hand and run it through your hair and scrunch it up and it's supposed to curl and be pretty and not be hard. So we're definitely gonna try this out since I'm getting ready to wash my hair in the next few days and I'll follow up with you guys my favorites to let you know how this actually worked out to see if it left my hair too hard or crunchy, if it dried my hair out or if it left flakes, I'll definitely follow up with you guys. But the other thing that I wanted to get with them is the Balm Glaze that they have and this is really when you're actually braiding your hair or if you're doing flat twists or regular twists and you want them to look clean and nice and you know we've kind of moved past that point of relying on gels we use other products now to be healthier for our actual hair if you're natural or text like even if you're perm you've already started to transition into products that have no paraben no waxes you know things that just aren't good for hair growth length and retention so this is something you can use if you're doing like your edges or anything like that or if you're just braiding or doing flat twists or if you're pulling your hair into a ponytail and I did see you can use this on your children so if you have little girls and you're doing a little ponytails you can use this you know <laughs> you can still be old school and just use a brush water and Vaseline or blue magic hair grease but this is something that actually help nourish your hair while it's holding your hair and it's supposed to be non flaky and again when I get ready to do my hair, I'm definitely going to go ahead and use these products and I'll follow up with you guys and let you know. So this way you know whether to spend your money or save your money. What I really went in and wanted to actual water, which is the reason why I went ahead and did my entire purchase, was for their actual growth serum oil. And this is their growth oil with vitamin E drops. <laughs> and I went ahead and picked up two of them. When I say these are amazing, I use them on my eyelashes because I wear, I wear fake eyelashes so much. So it's inevitable. If you're wearing fake eyelashes, eventually you're gonna pull out a lash or two of your actual real lash, you know, just whatever. And plus I have struggle lashes anyway. And you know, to regrow in and refill out my eyebrows and to make sure that no matter what I'm actually doing with my hair, that you know my edges still stay full and it's growing thicker and just everything when i say this works wonders what i actually do is i'll take 
and I'll mix a third of this with a fourth of the Real BB Judy Hair Kaleidoscope Drops, and I'll mix in another 25% flaxseed oil, and the remaining, I'll fill up the rest of the bottle with, uh, with um, Jamaican Black Castor Oil, and I'll just mix it all together, and what I'll do is I'll just take, since it comes with a dropper, see how thick that is? It's a thick oil. It's, it, it is vitamin E based, so it's gonna be definitely very healthy for your hair and everything. What I'll go ahead and do, I'll take and put a little bit here, and after I'll wash my face and moisturize my face, I'll go ahead and run it across my eyebrows at night and across my lashes, and I'll put it on my edges 360 around my head in the back too, here and in the crown, since the crown is where I have the biggest struggles with my hair as far as breakage if anything happens. But I'll just take it and I'll go ahead and massage down my edges and massage my crown and massage my nape in the back. This stuff makes your hair so soft, so soft, and it keeps your hair moisturized. Of course, anytime you're using any type of treatment with your eyebrows, eyelashes, edges, or anything like that, you definitely want to let the product sit in for at least 30 to 30 minutes to an hour before you start to tie it up and actually go to sleep. So you typically want to go ahead and do this as soon as you get out of the shower. So that way, by the time you finish doing everything you got to do, it's had a chance to actually sit in. But this stuff will keep my edges, crown, my nape and everything moisturized for about three days. So every two to three days, I'll go ahead and re-moisturize my hair with um, rose water, organic rose water. And then I'll take some flaxseed oil and mix it with a little bit of black Jamaican castor oil and I'll rub it on my hands and just rub it through my hair. And as far as my scalp is concerned, I'll put these on it with my mixture that I make now. <laughs> I'll put these on it because I noticed that the, kaleidos the kaleidoscope drop by the real BB Judy, they were too strong. Like when I would put them on, it would just itch and itch and itch and I would notice shedding with it. So it was just too strong. So I just, one day I just decided to thin it out with this since this is perfect for me and I love it. And my eyebrows became thicker, my eyelashes, they got darker and longer. And of course, you know, I don't have any problems with any type of shading or anything coming out with my edges, even when I wear braids and different things. So I definitely encourage you guys to go ahead and at least try this at least once and let me know what you think. Completely soft. Okay. And the next thing that came in, came in because, you know, scrolling, being on Instagram, you, you forever seeing something. Especially if you go to the Explorer page and if you like a lot of beauty makeup photos and it'll start to show you beauty <laughs> makeup brands. If you like a lot of natural hair, hair care companies and different things like that, then you'll start to see a lot of hair care brands. If you like a whole bunch of weaves and wigs and you'll start to see all these celebrity wig artists and different things like that. But this one came up for me on the Explorer page because I have a tendency to love watching natural hair videos on Instagram and YouTube. It's something so relaxing about watching them wash their hair and watching the curls just spring back. Yeah, I'm that cornball. I'll sit there and like and watch and scroll and before I know it, I'll be like, I can for 30 minutes watching people brush through their hair with a denim brush. I've got to get my life. But this company actually pops up and it is the Sleek Pro Company. And I've heard about them before. And I've been actually seeing and following their videos for about four months now. And they had a sale and I was like, hmm, let me go ahead and take advantage of that. So I went ahead and got their line. This is gonna be everywhere. I can tell you right now, this is gonna be everywhere. But I went ahead and got their line that is for moisturizing your hair and it's for dry and damaged hair. Um, I don't care what line it is, whatever's happened, whatever's going on, I'm always gonna gear towards hair products that moisturize the hair, that help strengthen the hair, help rebuild the hair because even though I keep my hair for the most part in protective styles and you guys see that with my actual hair, I still want to make sure my hair is moisturized. I still want to make sure it's strong. So when I do take it down and wear it out, I'm able to see 
growth and I'm also able to have retention with it. And the biggest thing for me in my hair is not just the growth and retention, but it's also the health of my hair. Because if my ends start to look straggly or if anything starts to happen to go, y'all saw me cut my hair last January. I'm, I'm not one of those people who's scared to grab a pair of scissors and snip, snip, cut, cut. Because there's nothing worse than straggly ends, especially for naturals or text slacks and perm. It, it, at this point, it doesn't even matter how your hair is. Damaged ends are damaged ends and they got to go. So I'm very protective of my hair. So what I actually went ahead and got, I went ahead and got their Lemon Meringue line. And I went ahead and got their Reconstruction Treatment. I got the Lemon Meringue Reconstruction Treatment. I also went ahead and got the Argan Oil Repair Detangler Leave-In Conditioner. They didn't have one in the actual line that I got. So I went ahead and picked this up. And it comes with a little puff bottle on the top. And I went ahead and got their Lemon Meringue Conditioner. And I also went ahead and got the Lemon Meringue Shampoo. Now, as you guys know, I rave about my raw, my raw African um, black soap. Because that is just, that has really created a 180 degree change in my actual hair like i've seen my hair be blacker shinier thicker healthier stronger I, I absolutely love that but you know the thing about you know being text lax and natural you forever <laughs> we become product junkies there is no other way around it once you start to realize your hair porosity your hair type what are you 3a 3b 3c 4a 4a bc you start to realize Hey, do I need more protein? Do I need more moisture? Once you really start to get into your hair, it's inevitable. You're going to become a hair junkie. This smells, this smells like the meringue on top of a lemon meringue pot. When I say this smells so good, and I'm all for products that leave my hair smelling clean and good, but not at the expense of it having alcohol or some strong artificial smell in it because no, nah, I'm good. You can miss me with that. Cause I already know those things will damage your hair, but this one doesn't have any like harsh ingredients or anything on the inside. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the ingredient list for the actual shampoo. Here are the ingredients for the actual shampoo. So knowing what I know, cause I started my hair journey back in August of 2013. <laughs> So I'm on a journey back to waist length hair. So, you know, hopefully we'll get there. You know, I've busy been cutting. When I first started, my hair was perm, and I didn't do a big chop. So I would let it grow, cut, let it go, cut, let it go. You know, that whole process of just clipping slowly, but truly clipping all the perm out of your hair. So that has been my journey for the past six years. And I had a setback with my hair actually breaking. I showed you guys that last year when I cut my hair on my Instagram. But... I'm all for just trying new products to try to really see what actually helps my hair, what actually helps it make it more manageable. You do know that from time to time, your hair will get used to certain products. So it's a good part of your actual hair journey to have multiple products that work really well for you. So this way you're able to go ahead and switch your products out. So this way you're able to target certain things throughout certain times of the year. In the winter time, you may need more moisture. In the summertime, you may need more actual strength added to it. Like just really paying attention to your hair. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try this out, guys. So in my favorites, I'll be able to let you guys know exactly how it worked. Did it strip my hair? Did it make my hair hard? Did it start to give me flakes because I don't have dandruff? But I know if I use the wrong hair product, my scalp will be itchy and just flake up. And I'm like, yeah, okay, that's not going to work for me. Or... If it make my hair hard or um, because I am text lax, my nape is completely natural. So when I wash my hair, how I actually check my hair to try to see if a product is actually working for me or I'm not going to use it again, I'll lift the back of my hair up and I'll check my nape. If I see all my ringlets and curls in the back and they're super defined, then it's a product I'll keep and I'll like. But if I lift it up and my nape is just like all over the place, then I'm not gonna use that product. So I'll definitely keep you guys up to date with this.
and also the She Is Bomb collection products to let you know how that worked out. So we'll know together if it's something you can spend your money on, especially if you're looking for something different with your hair or girl, save that money. Okay, so if you've made it to this part of the video, I want to thank you so much for watching and spending some time with me today. And again, I don't care when you're watching in the morning, afternoon, evening, whatever you're watching me. I'm just so happy that you decided to come spend some time with me today. And like I said, it was just a quick, rapid haul of some new hair products that I'm getting in that I'm about to start to try to see what happens with my hair on this hair journey. So if you're ready... We're definitely going to take that ride together on this journey to waist length hair, you know, whatever that may look like. My hair was there when I graduated high school, but, you know, coloring your hair, cutting your hair, perming your hair, all that other stuff, and perming it, then hot combing it and flat ironing it, girl, boo -bye. If I'd have known then what I know now, <laughs> story of everybody's life, right? <laughs> But I hope you're having a beautiful day. And of, of course, as always, YouTube, thank you.